All right, second half just started, but we all know what's going to happen here. So I'm in front of a camera right now. Let's let's do this. This is my crappy camera, but I don't care. Who cares? Thirty-five nothing. Um, well, we're starting to give the Giants a couple of false starts. It looks like. Yeah, another false start. So at least we're making them commit some penalties. Uh, hour and a half late, but whatever. So yeah, if we, you know, if we score a couple points here, you know, put up like 17, 20 points in the second half here, I'd probably get on, make a video, and not really convey what needs to be conveyed about this game, because we probably will put up some points in the second half, we'll probably slow the Giants down a little bit, we'll probably do some positive things, but you know, that that's just not the case. That's not what this game was about. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to make a video right after we actually do something competently. And... So don't get it twisted. You know, that first half... Holy shit. I don't know where to go with this one. You know, I'm not too mad because, you know, I get it. I, I didn't think we had what it took to win this game. We have problems. We're not a great team. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't know what we are. I think we're fairly inconsistent because we have looked good in some of these games, but the value of that, it's still up in the air. So, I don't know. But looking at these last two weeks, we can't do anything right. We nothing goes our way. We <coughs> never, we don't make any plays. We make maybe one play a game that never amounts to shit. Because, freaking God. So, yeah, let's break this down real quick. You know, I don't want to do it, but whatever. So, offensively, Charlie Whitehurst, it's not on him. You know, he should have had a touchdown through a perfect pass in the end zone to Mike Williams, and Mike drops it right to a defender. I think Corey Webster or Terrell Thomas, I can't remember. Um... So yeah, that he should have a touchdown on the board right now, but he it was not in the cards. And then he threw another pick in the red zone that was his fault. That was a bad pass. So <clears throat> you know he he's not he's been inaccurate, but it's been nothing I haven't you know I expected it. It's not surprising. It's 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 not surprising. I mean. We don't have the horses to compete with the Giants. I said that before this game. It's they are too good in too many aspects on offense and defense. They, you know, they're special teams, whatever. But we don't have the horses to stop all the positive aspects they bring to the table. They, their offense and defense is just too good. But it, it still sucks to watch. I just have to sit here and watch this shit. No pop. Like, maybe two good plays on offense so far. Lynch had a seven-yard carry. That was amazing, really. I mean, it's amazing he picked up seven yards on that play. And we had one good pass to uh, Mike Williams. So that's it offensively. I will say the offensive line's playing a little better than I thought they would. Um... They're giving Whitehurst the opportunity to make some plays. He's not making them, or someone else isn't making them, but the offensive line's okay. Uh, defensively, we're getting gashed. Cannot stop Eli. Not forcing any turnover. Well, okay, we forced a turnover that just doesn't freaking matter because, you know, we didn't do anything with it. But they did force the fumble on the opening Giants drive. I can't remember who did it. I think Babineau picks, picks it up, picked it up. So, you know, good for him. He gets to put up his stats. But it doesn't mean anything for this team because the offense sucks so much. And ever since then, the defense has been, you know, sucking just as bad. It's, um, Hakeem Nix, Trufant, getting abused by Nix all day. If he's not giving up catches, he's committing pass interference. I think at least once today, maybe even twice. Um, every single play, there's something there for the Giants, there's a play there for the Giants to make, and they make it. Always somebody open, always something going on positive for them, and, and they make that play. 
and um, can't. I mean, we're doing okay against the run. I guess you know we're not doing great against the run, but we're doing okay. But the real thing is, we can't get to Eli. We can get no pressure. Oh, we just botched a snap. Oh, 20 yard sack. I love it. I love it. At this point, it doesn't matter, so I'm not going to get mad about it. And really, that's the thing that I'm not going to get mad about about this whole game because. I don't think it was hard to see that we were going to find, you know, we were going to lose this game. I just hate humiliating ourselves at home. It, it's, I hate that the fans who paid good money to go to that game have to watch this shit because we're supposed to be good at home. We're supposed to show up at home, and today it's not just that just that we're losing; it's that we are getting our shit pounded in. We really are. And yeah, that's all I can say about that. Uh, Okay, now they get a good punt return. So even their shitty ass special teams making plays on us. It's it's just that kind of day. So we got some Giants fans on YouTube and all I got to say is, well, you guys, you are the best team of the NFC. Um another fucking penalty. And I, I, you know, I thought that before this game, and I think a lot of people did, but, you know, you look at the Falcons, you look at the, uh, couple other teams out there, but I, I feel like that's the case. So, yeah, I, I'm gonna put this one behind me real quick, because it, it's a loss, it's just one loss in the columns, uh, bad loss certainly, but it's just a loss that we were probably going to have anyway, so if we can regroup over this next week and get ready for Arizona, because I think that Arizona game has become a must-win game if we want to compete in this division, and, you know, that sounds kind of sad, but it's, it's the truth. So, yeah, if we want to have a chance at winning this division, I think next week is must-win. I'm willing to put these last two shitty weeks behind me where we've been outscored like 70-3, to I'm willing to forget about it, <clears throat> uh, I'm willing to not get mad about it, but we got to win next week. So, yeah, I'm not going to get upset at this, but this is embarrassing. I mean, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Alright, just another one of those days. And God, has it sucked to watch football up here. Washington's lost three straight in humiliating fashion, the... Seahawks got killed two weeks in a row. I don't care about the Cougars, but the Cougars are, of course, they're sucking balls, but they always do that. So Arizona lost today in overtime, so thank you for that. And I'll talk more about football later, but I wanted to make a video now while we're down 35 to nothing before we do something that makes me feel half decent because they don't deserve that. Not after today. Oh well.